Did you know that the Green Bay Packers franchise is the third oldest team in the NFL to play in its original founded city? I have been researching on the history of the well-known Green Bay Packers football franchise. I'll provide and explain the history of the Green Bay Packers and how they became such a successful football organization. On August 11, 1919, the Green Bay Packers franchise was originated in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The Packers were founded by both Earl Curley Lambeau and George Whitney Calhoun. The Packers' name was given to them by the Indian Packing Company, who provided money for their jerseys and gave them use of their company's athletic field. Two years later, in 1921, the Packers were given a membership opportunity to join the NFL. Today, the Packers, Bears, and Cardinals are the only three original NFL teams remaining from the 1922 season. The Packers had 15 different head coaches in the time span from 1921 to present. Two of these coaches are well known for their accomplishments in the Packers organization. The first coach was Earl Lambeau. He started coaching the Packers in 1920 and over his 29 years as head coach of the Green Bay Packers, he won six NFL championships and was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. The second coach was Vince Lombardi. He began coaching Green Bay in 1959. Within seven years of coaching the Packers, Lombardi also won six NFL championships, two Super Bowls, and was named NFL Coach of the Year twice. The Packers played at City Stadium from 1957 to 1965. New City Stadium was built and became home to the team. After the death of Earl Lambeau, the founder of the Packers, the city of Green Bay decided to name the field after him. The following year after the death of Earl Lambeau, the stadium underwent construction and now can see 81,435 people. Lambeau Field is nicknamed as the frozen tundra as players and fans have fought negative degree temperatures and forceful winds to enjoy the game of football. In 1967, Vince Lombardi led the Green Bay Packers to the first ever Super Bowl in which they won, naming Lombardi the first coach to ever win a Super Bowl. Vince Lombardi lost his battle with cancer at age 57 on September 3rd, 1970. Later in the year 1970, the National Football League decided to rename the Super Bowl trophy in memory of him. And Super Bowl V, the Baltimore Cubs were the first team to hoist the newly named Lombardi trophy. Each year, the winning team has permanent possession of the trophy, and a new one is created for the next year. In 2019, the Lombardi Trophy was awarded to the New England Patriots. Its production took more than four months to complete and $50,000 to produce. Additionally, each player gets a small replica of the trophy, which is approximately $1,400. The Lombardi Trophy is made of pure sterling silver and is produced by a famous Tiffany & Company. The years from 1992 to 2007 were best known as the Brett Favre era. Brett Favre is a Mississippi native and a University of Southern Miss alumni. He set numerous records during his four years at USM. He was drafted by the Atlanta Falcons in 1991 and played as backup quarterback. The following year, he was traded from the Atlanta Falcons to the Green Bay Packers and later would be named starting quarterback. In, in the 15th season with the Packers, Favre did not miss a starting snap. Favre led the Packers to win a Super Bowl in 1996. He led them to another Super Bowl the following year, which ended in defeat. Brett Favre is the only NFL player to win three consecutive MVP awards. And with his success, the Packers retired his jersey in 2015. Moreover, Favre was an 11-time Pro Bowler and was inducted into the National Football League Hall of Fame in 2016 and gave a memorable heartfelt speech expressing his admiration for the fans and his Green Bay Packers teammates. The Packers have a very unique but loyal fan base according to the article Things You Didn't Know About Lambeau Field. Regardless if the Packers are winning or losing every season since 1960, every home game has been sold out. The fan base of the, of the Packers is properly referred to as the Cheeseheads since the state of Wisconsin is well known for its abundant cheese production. The Green Bay Packers franchise has a rich, notorious, and successful history 
that has left its mark on the National Football League. In 2018, the Packers celebrated their 100th season in the NFL. Today, the Packers are coached by Matt LaFleur and are once again experiencing an amazing winning season. 